Hey gang, here we are with the first actual installment of the Layman's Bookshelf. And the first thing we're going to talk about in this short series are Bible handbooks. What exactly is a Bible handbook? Well, think about a Bible handbook as a quick reference guide. It's like learning a new piece of software. You have kind of a quick reference guide to give you some pertinent information, but not necessarily extremely in-depth. Bible handbooks are more matter-of-fact information. They deal with a lot of archaeology and things like that, locations, where people were, the things they used, the things that were in their daily lives, but they can also be a little interpretive, but not to the degree that a commentary is. This one happens to be Haley's Bible Handbook, and this is by, uh, um, I can never remember this guy's name. This peril's getting old, y'all. Uh, Henry Hampton Halley, who was born in 1874 and, and went home to be with the Lord in 1965. So that's a lifetime of knowledge. This was originally published in 1924. So as the young ones say, this is the OG of Bible handbooks. So let me take this over here to the back and let me park this over the top and let you take a look at it. Try to freeze this here so you can read it if you want. And here's some of the features. Let's take a look at the spine. I just picked this one up about a year ago. And like I said, one of the cool things about it, especially for me, it's available in large print. I'm going to show you something really cool that I found in my own personal Bible study when I was reading about the second coming of Jesus and the ten virgins. Here it is right here. Here's what the oil lamps that they were talking about look like. Let me get in here and so you can, you can freeze that and read that if you want. And I thought that was neat. That changed my perception of a lot of things. Because when we think of certain things, we tend to draw what we're familiar with the mind. And that doesn't look like anything that I thought that an oil lamp would look like. But you'll find in books like this a, a lot of pictures. You'll find detailed drawings of, of the temple. You'll find an example of the priestly robes with the ephod. The ephod was the uh, chest plate that the priest wore over his robes that had the 12 stones, each one representing one of the tribes of Judah. And it'll go into great detail about that. And I'm going to show you another handbook, and I think they still make these. I'm pretty sure they do. And it's this one. I actually have a review of this one on my on my channel. But this is the uh, Unger's Bible handbook. What's cool about this, I've had this one since the 90s. What's cool about this one is it's all in color. I mean, it, it'll talk about what how people dressed back then, and it's just full of great information. And how you use these handbooks is you, if you're in a spot in the Bible and you want to see if there's any more details, you'll go to the book of the Bible that you're looking up, because you can see in the heading right here, you go to the book of the Bible that you're reading, and you can look it up and find what you need to find. See, this is great if you're teaching Sunday school. It's fantastic if you're teaching, uh, if you're a budding preacher or you're just even just sharing God's word with, with your friends and family or just studying the Bible to improve your own relationship with Christ. And that's really what this series and this channel and my podcast are for, is to encourage people to have a living, dynamic relationship with God. And when we study his word and when we spend time in it, it'll change our lives. And these tools are great for that. It's a fun thing to do. It's a lot better than watching television. I mean television. Sorry about that. But um, anyway, these are the two Bible handbooks I have. Halley's and Erdman's. And another really good one, which I don't happen to have yet is Unger's Bible Handbook. It is one of the original Bible handbooks out there. I know that um, Holman makes one as well, 
But there are some fantastic resources out there and they don't cost much money. And it's really exciting to learn certain things about God's Word and have your mind open in a way you never thought possible just by looking something up, man. It's great. The next installment is going to be longer. We are going to be talking about Bible commentaries. And that is one thing every believer needs to have on their bookshelf. Commentaries from people you agree with and even a few commentaries from people you don't agree with. But there are some good godly men out there writing some great commentaries to help us in our understanding of God's Word and to cause us to think and to dig even deeper. I hope this first installment was helpful. If, you if this was helpful to you, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share it. Try to encourage other people. You know, it's not easy being visually impaired and wanting to study the Bible, but, you know, it's, it's worth all the effort we can put into it. Whether you have a visual impairment or not, it's worth all the effort. You'll be surprised. It's a fun thing to do, and it's a beneficial thing to do. So anyway, like I said, if you enjoyed the video, like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, help me grow this. I'm just trying to get this channel up to 100 subscribers little bit at a time a little bit at a time anyway thank you for watching hope it didn't ramble too much god bless and enjoy your evening